So today I would like to talk to you about different products that I use that help me with my chemo side effects. Um, I sometimes get a really dry mouth, a dry nose and dry eyes. Um, sometimes they also uncontrollably water. They'll just run as well as my nose. It'll just drip. Uh, my mouth, I never get like too much saliva or anything like that. It's always just pretty dry in my mouth. Or sometimes I'll um, get sores from the chemo uh, on my tongue, around my tongue, on my lips, in the cracks of my lips. Um, same thing in my nose. I'll get sores as well as nosebleeds. So I just kind of want to tell you guys some of the products that I use that help me and some products that people have uh, suggested um, that I still am going to try or haven't got to try or have tried. So I'll start with, I don't know where to start, there's so much. I'll start with the mouth stuff. So um, as well, I use a equal mixture of baking soda, salt, and water. And now that keeps for a while. Um, I don't remember how long my doctor said it keeps. They also, if you do need something that's a little stronger for your mouth, they have, um, an, it's not over the counter, I'm sorry, it's a prescription. Um, they call it Magic Mouthwash. And last time I was on chemo, I, I used it a lot. I really relied on it. It was amazing. It was great. It helped. And this time, um, the effects aren't as bad. So what I do is I use that mixture that I just spoke about. Um, and then this, this is just like a, um, just a regular mouthwash. So when I want to brush my teeth and then I also use children's, well, children's toothpaste because it doesn't burn my mouth. It doesn't have that alcohol in it that, um, brings all the extra burn. So then the other thing I got for my dry mouth was this. And this really, it helps, but um, it also helps with the sores because it, it, it really just numbs your mouth, uh, really, is what I found. Um, it says it lasts up to four hours. It didn't for me, but it was a product that I was able to use that helped. Also, what I do, I know I shouldn't, but Lifesavers or any kind of candies that kind of just can keep your mouth wet. Cough drops, Halls breezers, sometimes the Halls, um, the menthol in them are too much and will burn my tongue. So I can't do those too much. So something like that, hard candy works great. <laughs> so also whenever I've been having a lot of tooth pain, I know you guys know that. Um, so I've been using Ore Gel and things like that, but I also use these or gel on my mouth sores on the inside if I were to get sores as well because it does numb it and it works great. These are just two different brands. This is the off brand and then um, the regular or gel brand here. Um, oh, it's upside down. Severe toothache brand and it, these are creams. They're kind of like a toothpaste texture um, so they don't like absorb. They just kind of hang out in your mouth which is kind of gross but it does the trick when you need it it does the trick so you don't really care about what it tastes like after that and then moving on to the lips so i i like the brand blistex i have a couple different i use this one um if i do have sores or cracks and it helps to break that down in there um this one i try and then these i just both try to keep and use regularly and uh, just to kind of soothe and keep it from chapped. You know, you can use any brand that you like. I just prefer the Blistex. Sometimes I also use this. Um, it's, it's like Aquaphor, but it's just like the generic brand. Um, I use this also on my fingertips when they start cracking in my feet as well and in my nose sometimes. So this product here, um, the off brand of Aquaphor or Aquaphor, whatever you can afford at the time, um, is definitely a product that you want to have laying around just to have because it helps with everything. <laughs> and then 
onto the nose. So my nose has been the biggest problem so far. I have a humidifier in my room that I keep going all the time, especially at night. Um, but sometimes it just, it's not enough moisture. I'll still wake up with, um, you know, I can't blow my nose. There's still, um, sores in there. It, it is definitely sore. Or if you sneeze, God forbid, you don't want to sneeze because you might end up with a really bad nosebleed. That's not going to stop anytime soon. So as well as my humidifier, these are some products that I use. This is just a nasal spray and it works great. Um, especially when my nose does start to bleed, I find this helps control it a lot faster. Um, then one of my doctors suggested this, it's called air and it's a nasal gel. Now this, I, I used, I quit using all my other products when I had started this and within a couple days I had a nosebleed. It was a really, really bad one. So I wouldn't suggest to use this here um, by itself. I don't know if anyone else has used this product. Uh, I, it didn't work that great for me. Um, it kind of, when I put it in my nose, it absorbed, which was great. Like it absorbed and made it moisturized, but, um, it didn't coat it for like nighttime, you know, nighttime when you're breathing, um, this isn't enough to coat your nose at nighttime. Daytime, this is great. Go ahead and use this and this spray through the day and you're great. Um, and then at nighttime, I use this Vaseline in this little container here. Probably any Vaseline will do. This is creme brulee flavored. Um, it doesn't need to be flavored. It helps because you're putting it in your nose, so it smells okay. Other than that, uh, yeah, I use it every single night. I keep Q-tips in this next to my bedside in a little crate, and I use it every night before I go to bed. Now this is a prescription that my doctor sent over and I just started this one. I don't know if you can see it there. And I don't know how to say it. Ah, some kind of ointment. <laughs> That's all you get. Um, so yeah, this seems to be helping. It has a texture of kind of like Vaseline, but it's more like this stuff. So I feel like it's going to absorb and not uh, coat my nose like I really need it to. Uh, yes, the Vaseline is sticky and it's gross and caca, but it really, it really stops the nosebleeds from coming and, and the sores. So if there were one product, okay, two, <laughs> two products out of all these products that I've showed you, the Vaseline, and this Aquaphor generic off-brand would be the two products that I would suggest um, for hydration of lips, nose, skin, anything like that that you need hydrated quickly. This stuff works great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's very long and I'm sorry about that. Um, I am going to make another video. I probably won't post it today about deodorant and the brands that I use as well there. So I hope, like I said, you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you or gave you ideas for products to use. Um, someone suggested using coconut oil today in my nose and things like that and I haven't got to try that yet, but it is something that I will give a try one day. Um, but sometimes you just kind of stick with what you know um, just because you don't want to have all those nosebleeds and stuff. So, yeah. But I hope you guys have a great night and enjoyed the video again. Thanks.